did you make Cliff Richard? A uh, dating site. <laughs> <laughs> It was an odd situation. Uh, my my friend Bruce Welsh and myself had come down from Newcastle, where we saw home, to, to London to try to make it in the music scene. And we were working about five nights a week in a coffee bar called the Two Eyes Coffee Bar in Soho. Yeah. I was hanging around there one afternoon with a guy, and, and this tall young man came along and started talking to this other guy, whose name actually was Rick Richards. And he introduced me, and it turned out he was managing a new singer called Cliff Richard. Mm-hmm. He was looking for a guitarist, and the guitarist he was looking for was a guy called Tony Sheridan, which you've probably heard of, yes. Fred, who played a little for a little while with the Beatles before they yeah, were famous. Right. Yeah. They backed him, actually. Tony used to play down the two eyes, and uh, he was a sort of singer-guitarist. And he used to ask me how I did certain things, and I'd show him how to play certain solos. And he was a quick learner, became very good. Rick said, hey, you don't listen to him, listen to Hank. He, he taught... <laughs> And I was quite embarrassed by this. So fortunately, we had our guitars downstairs in the cellar where we normally played in the evenings. Mm. Went down there, played a few rock and roll songs for uh, this guy, John Foster. He said, hey, that's great. If if you want the job, you've got the job. I said, wow, work. Yeah. And uh, this is where I made my biggest mistake. I said, you need a rhythm guitarist. He said, yes. And I recommended Bruce. Big mistake. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Anyway, we did Cliff's first tour and we just hit it off. We we were like a five piece band. It wasn't like a singer and a backing group. Yeah. It was just like a yeah. five piece band. Yeah, you know, yeah. we we hung around together, wrote songs together, and it was just a great team for a, a number of years. 